Hello guys, TKG here for your comfortable Lozac life. In this video, I'd like to cover the newly released class Aeromancer. As the Lozac guy was asked about the chaos of all builds, so I thought it'd be great to share some of those builds and infos for your Lozac journey. Now follow me, I'll show you what you need. Before going in, one thing you gotta know, this video is including build of Aeromancer right now in KR. So the build and engraving ETC are based on statistic and common experience of these days in KR. So some of the preference of the skills can be a little different with your region. Also the Lost Ark always try to fix the balance between the class by classes. So in the future, some of the build can be changed too. So watch this video with those consideration and use this video as your reference to your Lost Ark journey. Let's start with the most basic one first. The class engraving I'm going to cover is Tilpung Nodo, known as Wind Fury in the global. Unlike the ESLB, Drizzle is relying on the identity Yaobi, Sun Shower, Wind Fury, Switch, or more like change the role of identity and can be utilized on the other synergy. Wind Fury's Sun Shower will give you and your teammates attack speed and movement speed buff when the identity is active. And comparing to the Drizzle Sun Shower, Sun Shower of the Wind Fury has a shorter cooldown and smaller range of effects than the Drizzle Sun Shower. Personally, I think the Wind Fury Synergy is better than the Drizzle one. As the Aeromancer was intentionally designed as a Synergy class, she could give you some useful buff with her identity and her skills during the raid. Unlike the Drizzle has heavy control during the gameplay, Wind Fury Aeromancer are based on a stat on Swiftness. Besides, talking about the combat stat, I think the Aeromancer has quite variation to choose from, but let's set aside those variations to avoid the confusion and let me show you the most representative engravings and combat stat build of the Aeromancer. First combat stat setting is full Swiftness build. As the Aeromancer, especially Wind Fury Aeromancer, has many benefits on our Swiftness stats, I think this build is the most representative build on the KL and community right now with Hallucination Gear Set. With her combat stat, engraving, and with her skills, this build guarantees almost 70 to 80% critical rate during the whole contents. As she has a quite capable and decent performance with the swiftness, she is quite easy to access and utilize for the beginners. And above all, she is not a bag attack type classes. So, it is easier to access and control. If you feel a little expensive about the Swiftness accessories, you could have some mixture with the critical accessories. But mostly, I don't recommend. Try to use the full Swiftness as possible as you can. If you wish to raise her as one of your owls, then the mixture with the critical accessories is not a bad choice. As I mentioned in the Swiftness build, she also has a variation on a build too. In KR, we call this build as Chishimbamba literally half critical and swiftest build with nightmare gear personally i think this build is kind of a romance this build looks really great but there's one problem it weighs too much depending on the critical damage sometimes if i see the white numbers during the raid it'll break my heart and of course it has a slightly difficult to manage your mp2 so i suggest you to use the build if you are playing to parker like one of your alts with more cheaper weight, this is for you. Core of the Wind Fury Airmancer mechanic is Kiryu Barseng and Young Yu, known as Current Occurrence and the Reversal in Glow. This type of two skills is kind of a sad use. Why is that? Kiryu Barseng, Current Occurrence skill will generate the shields for Airmancer, which looks cool when the shield is generated using Reversal skill right away, or maybe during the shield uptime, we will remove the shield itself. But it would increase the damage of the reversal skills. So more like the connection of the instant damage increased skills with the main skill. Unlike the specialization based classes, Wind Fury Aeromancer has quite soft requirement on self. More like it has not many things to concern about a combat stat itself. So almost you can pick it up and play right away if your requirements match on the raid. Conclusion? Well, Aeromancer is quite great class to start and access even if you are planning to park her as alt or as main. As I mentioned in the previous cover video, if you are expecting some great damage dealing class, then this is not for you. 
Airman's positioning is more like a sub damage synergy class. So in other words, if you are expecting some great and cool damage performance like Punisher Slayer or Igniter Sorcerers, like I said, this is not for you. Airmancer is also possible to build in more variations. And also, like I mentioned in the previous chapter, she has a great and smooth control and easy to utilize a skill composition due to her decent skill usage. Unlike the other swiftest build classes, well, let me say it more Korean ways. You don't have to play the piano in the whole raid contest. Skill and mechanism are quite more structured than the other swiftest build base characters. As I keep mentioning, she is not a capable at huge or great damage performance. More like she is capable of sub damage dealing and synergy dealer. So if you are expecting the elements are like Igniter Sorceress, you can find something from here. Her skill is consisted with two main parts, two Kiryubar Seng, current or current skills, and four reversal skills. As I mentioned in the core mechanic chapter, reversal skill must be used after the current or current skills. Always remember, current occurrence is the backbone skill of the Wind Fury Armaster. Cinder skill called Tornado is a great Cinder skill. One specialty of the Tornado is that Small projectile and returning umbrella can renew the synergy of time. So, in the many complicated situation, you can keep your synergy maintained. One empty skill can be filled from the weather skills. Mostly, I think it is useful for the gimmicks or for the conviction and judgment combo. And actually, it has no answer for this one. But mostly, airmen as a player do use the whirlpool in many situations, or you can replace with the wiping wind. Skill build can be summarized by this text box. If you wish to perform better on the raid, you need to upgrade your reversal skill first and then you can freely upgrade your tripod on the other skills. And one specific thing on the piercing wind on the first tripod, giant squall which shoot out the projectile, or the tripod which swing the blade 360 degrees. Unlike the different motion and the specialty, damage increase factors are same. So in other words, it is a preference. For me, I use the 360 degree one. Reason is quite simple, because of the convenience of this tripod. You really don't have to aim your cursor toward the enemy. You can actually damage dealt against the enemy, even if you are turned around. So normally, I use the 360 degree one and change in some rare situation that needs some projectile, like the raid, you need to keep your distance for your survival. So conclusion, the choice, is yours. Awakening skill is a preference to an uh, airmancer, but personally, storm approach is recommended for your airmancer, especially with wind fury engravings. Unlike the drizzle, airmancer is highly depending on her damage performance with sun shower. Wind fury has not much things to do with the identity. And one good thing about the storm approach skill is that once you use it, you can have a free hand after or during the using awakening. So, in other words, you can do additional damage against the enemy while the awakenings are active. Like I mentioned in the previous chapter, Airman's skill combo is fun to play the whole contest. I can guarantee that. More like, you really don't have to get stressed by some identity meters or some intricate calculations. All you have to do is synergy, current occurrence, reversal. Yep, this is everything. So, in Korean, Usan Dojigo, Throw Tornado, Kiryu Barsen, Current Occurrence, Youngyu, Reversal, Repeat. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching everyone, and always thanks for your big support. Hope this video was really helped for your Lost Art journey. Hope you do well with your Airmancer with this video. And of course, if you like my videos, hit the sub for more upcoming infos. I'll come back with more useful infos in the next video.